everyone! It's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review the final episode, episode 13 of Katsugeki Token Ranbun. So, it's not the end of this series because it got confirmed for a movie project. We don't know how many movies, if it could be one, two, however many, but it's getting movies, or a movie. So that's great. But, for the anime, uh, how it ended... Well, honestly, I'm gonna give this a 9. I mean, I was debating how it ended. It's either gonna get an 8 or a 9, and I'm gonna give it a 9 of an overall score. But, to get in what happened in this episode, so... What really confused me about this episode was Kunihiro, because he mentioned that he's been with the Shinzengumi and for a while, and also the fact he left the second unit, like, three or two years ago, and I'm like... That just happened! I'm confused. I don't get that. That's is it a different Kuni hero than the one we've been seeing in previous episodes, or is it the same one? I'm confused with that. They didn't explain it at all. That was really confusing. Moving on. So history did change a little bit with Kuni Hero being there and the Shinsengumi is that it ended up with Hijikata not giving the sword at first to Tetsunosuke. But in the end, Hijikata, uh, not Hijikata, uh, Izumi no Kami, sorry, um, went up to Hijikata and was like, hey, um, you pro like, he basically persuaded him into, you know, his resolve of dying, you know, and giving the sword basically his life to Tetsunosuke to go back to his family and everything, and he did eventually do it and everything. And it was interesting that Izumi no Kami, uh, didn't give him his name, he was, and he was just like, oh, you're, uh, you don't have a name? Well, I'll call you Nameless Warrior, <laughs> is what Hijikata said, and I was just like, okay. Um, <laughs> so that happened, and, uh, it flowed the same way, history flowed the same way it was supposed to pretty much, except for the little... Uh, uh, alterations there just a bit, but um, meanwhile they have to deal with the thousands of uh, time retrograde army coming from the sky, and also Kuni Hero mentioned he discovered the plot of everything they wanted to do, the time retrograde army, but he didn't explain any of it, I'm like, if you know, maybe you should tell them, but whatever, um, <laughs> so they have to go fight them, and it's overwhelming numbers, and there's awesome fight scenes, there's epic, like, they had this epic final battle, basically, it was great, I was like, this is great, and of course, they bring in a trump card, because that all the, it was too much, and so, uh, Mikazuki comes in, I'm like, I knew he was gonna show up as kind of a trump, trump card to, like, and everything. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. And so all the fighting just was great. I'm just like, this is awesome. I love it. And they defeat all of them. And it's awesome and great. And it, yeah, it's just awesome and great. What else can I say about that? And, um, after that, they, um, watch the war begin. And, um, when Hijikata is about to die, uh, Izumi no Kami and Kunihiro both run out trying to, you know, maybe, like, they probably, like, they knew they couldn't save him, but they wanted to try anyway, and he dies, and Kunihiro cries, oh man, I'm just like, mm, hold, hold it in, don't cry, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, this is supposed to happen, um, and in the end, you know, Kunihiro, I guess, joins back with the second unit, and they're gonna get a new mission, because the little fox, uh, was like, hey, uh, second unit, you've got a new mission, new orders from the master, and they're all gonna go back to the citadel, I guess, and then, uh, the second unit's gonna move out to their next mission, and I'm assuming that's where the movie's gonna pick up, or movies, because we don't know if it's just one, two, or three, you know, okay, who knows, you know, um, and if you think about it, how good the animation is in this anime series? Think of how good of a, a movie budget would be. Like, that's gonna be like, wow! Like, your eyes are going to come out of your sockets animation! Uh, because this is euphonable, so... But, yeah, overall, Katsuke Kitoten Rambu was very, very entertaining. I really enjoyed it, and it ended well. And I'm ready for the movies, but that means when the movies come out in Japan, if they come out next year, whenever, that means we have to wait six to eight months. So it'll be a while before we get to see them. That stinks. That's the one thing about series getting movies is that you have to wait for them to come out in Japan and then you have to wait six to eight months for them to come out here. It stinks a lot, but hey, you know, we'll see them eventually. So, what did you guys think of this overall series? You know, what do you think about, again, movies and everything? Um, or movie, you know, again, we don't know. Um, but overall, 
good series, good Bishonen <laughs> sword boys, and now we wait for Token Ron Moon Hanamaru season two to air next year, I believe. So that'll be a fun thing, a little more of the slice of life kind of thing there, but um, that'll be interesting. And that's all my thoughts. This was a great series. It had good animation, good music. Oh, and the I uh, forgot to mention this. Um, the music that played in that kind of the epic battle scene was like where it had like a singer. That was really good, and the singer sounded really familiar. I'm not sure who it was, but it sounded like the singer from the Sao movie, you know. Um, it sounded kind of like her, but I could be wrong. I don't know who it was, but it was a good song. Um, but anyway, again, that's all my thoughts. Good animation, good story, good characters, um, <laughs> good music. Everything was great about this series, so I will see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!